Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for my budget check-in, which is the first check-in I'm doing for this month. Um, so my check-ins run Monday to Sunday, but the first was a Thursday, so I only had three days. So I'm doing the first to the Monday, sorry, Sunday the 11th here. So I check in these cat these categories that I do stickers for, I check in those. So I'm going to write out what I'm checking it on. Okay, so I've written out my categories that I'm checking in on. And I do this check-in every week just to sort of keep me on track as to what we're spending. So I on a day-to-day -day basis, when I spend anything, I go through and I pick the sticker that it correlates to and I stick it in. If it's ticked, that means it's come out of my bank account. Um, I did used to use that little checkbox to mark down um, if I checked in on something, but I don't do that now. I use it to mark down if it's come out of the bank account. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take out my little tab and I'm going to look at the colour and fun is the first category. So fun is the darker pink and I am just going to go through and do all the dark pinks. I think I've spent quite a lot to be honest and I've got my incredibly clicky calculator right here. So I zoom you out so you can see my, or at least hear my very clicky calculator. And I'm just going to, I really should show you my clicky calculator shouldn't I? Here we go. So I'm just going to work out, so 31, 13, 11, 50, 4.99, uh, 4.95, 10, 14.50, and 21.75 is a grand total of 98.82, wow, which means I have spent, I have left, sorry, pound eighteen pence of my fun money. And I can already tell you I'm going to go over that because I'm going to buy myself the Bethany Rose stickers. So, um, but I am doing a bit better, to be honest, with my spending. I'm doing a little bit better this month, so. Okay, next category is kids, which is orange. So they have not overspent. I can tell you that. So there's $14.99 Amazon. There's $4.78 Apple. Cash out, which is putting aside for Isaac. He decided he didn't want to spend his birthday money. Sorry, his uh, weekly pocket money. He's going to save up. He wants to buy... What's the game? Mario something cart. You real life Mario Kart or something. So the kids had a rollover of 41.72 and they also had their £100 spending money. So they started out with 141.72 and have spent 44.77 which means they have 96.95 left. Which that is pretty darn good to be honest. <laughs> okay eating out is the dark blue. So we have two transactions and that's just 40 pounds. That's about right. And our budget, I just have to double check, was 100 pounds. So we have 60 left, which should be doable. We're going to have McDonald's one day this week for Isaac's birthday. And then Chinese two more weeks, so it's 2040. So it should, we might go a little bit over, but not too much. Petrol, which is the dark green, and I've had one petrol transaction, which was 54.88. And again, I allocated 100 pounds. So we have 45 pounds, 12 left, which is more than enough. The only reason I spent 54.88 was because I let it go for a little while before I filled up. I used to fill up on the 1st and the 15th of every month and it took about £40. But since lockdown, when I didn't fill up for like three months, um, it's thrown all that out of whack. So I, I left it 
till it was almost empty. So probably won't be doing that again. <laughs> Kids activities is next, which is this pale peach. And I haven't actually put it in. I've just noticed. So I have my little book here. This is a digital from Bare Necessities. I have all my stickers in here. So these stickers are sized with a plump, plump planner. No, plum paper planner. Oh, I've done that wrong. Yeah, they're they're sized for the plum paper planner. They're not listed in my shop just now. At the moment, the ones listed are for Happy Planner. But if anybody does want the plum paper planner, they'll be coming soon as an option. Um, if you do want them, though, just leave a note in the notes to seller. And I'll, uh, I'll make them in that size instead. So, play scheme is cash. So, I have spent £5 so far of that. And this month's play scheme budget was, or kids activities, was £40. So we've got 35 left. I know we've got another 15 to spend in play schemes, I think, yeah. Um, so at least 20, which is to build up for Posey's ballet, because she does, she's gone back, started back to ballet. So... Next up is groceries, which is probably our biggest spend. It is our biggest spend. There's one here. <laughs> so, one over here. I don't count these because that's next week's check-in. So, $18.95 plus £21.5 plus $34.68 plus $184.51 plus $7.99 plus $185. So, we have spent... Four hundred and fifty-two pounds and eighteen pence <laughs> in two weeks, in less than two weeks, in eleven days. But I do our grocery shopping on a Saturday, and so that's two big grocery shops done already. So that's not as bad as it could be. Not great though, which I'm quite surprised by. So four ninety seven eighty two, and we've got three weeks worth of shops left. One hundred sixty five, doable, just about doable. And then we have sinking funds, which I have had some. So home and birthday. Have I put them in twice? I think I might have. Okay, no, I didn't put them in twice. So home and birthday and this one's actually 110 because I took out 110 for my sinking fund so I round up and then 150 which was my shelves and my brother's birthday so that's 260 pounds out of sinking funds I don't have a remaining because it's just so that I know I've spent some and then we have three unbudgeted so we have a 23.99 apple a $3.99 for Amazon Music, which I still keep forgetting to cancel. And my husband, so $67.69 in unbudgeted. Which is quite a lot. And I use a red pen to mark that. Hopefully there won't be too many of those. We did get more income for some than we normally do though, so it's sort of balanced out. So that is my weekly check-in for the first check-in. There will be four altogether, but that's the first one. It's not too bad, I've spent all my fun money, but within reason I've got a little bit of leeway there. The kids are fine, eat out's fine, petrol's fine, kids' activities is fine, groceries again, that's a little more than I'd like, but it's doable. Um, sinking funds was all expected. Unbudgeted was not great, but again, that's something we can work on. Um, and honestly, as I mentioned before, I've mentioned it in other videos as well, lockdown really had an effect on us, financially and mentally. And so this is me trying to get back into better habits, get back into proper budgeting and trying a bit harder. And look, I have a no spend day I can put a sticker in. I like my no spend stickers at the very front of my sticker book to try and encourage me to have no spends. So I think that's not too bad. 
Could be a whole lot worse, could be a lot better, but could be a lot worse. So I will probably record another check-in later on towards the end of the month. Uh, if there's any finance videos anybody's interested in seeing, please let me know down below. Or if you have any questions, please ask them down below. Or you can find me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram name just here. And as always, thank you for listening to me waffle and thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.